Welcome back guys. In this video and few of the upcoming videos, I'm going to give you an overview of some of the really cool features that are available to us along with virtual agent. So few of the features I've already jotted down over here which include sending actionable notifications, sending non-actionable notifications, non-actionable notifications are uh, the ones where we are just notifying the user that an event has happened in service now. So we can send those kind of notifications to users on teams or slack so i have mentioned teams over here because my videos will be concentrating on the teams integration rather than the other tools which are available sending actionable notifications includes replying on top of a comment to a particular ticket or approving or rejecting a request directly from microsoft teams rather than logging in to service now instance in a browser and then approving or rejecting the request now one of the cool features that is available to us is starting a conversation directly from the ticket itself where a teams icon let's say is available next to a user specific field and once the person working on that ticket clicks on that icon microsoft teams will open up the chat record for that particular user and you can discuss whatever you want to discuss related to that particular ticket. You can not only start a one-to-one -one user conversation from the ticket, but you can also start a group conversation from the ticket. Sometimes there are multiple teams involved in a particular ticket and there is a common resolution to be made. So user has the luxury to start a group conversation from that ticket where you can involve the caller or a few, of the, a few other persons which are available in Microsoft Teams and start a uh, conversation from there. We also have luxury to import the chat records. Those chats which were initiated from that ticket can be imported into, da into the ticket as a work note or as an additional comment. One of the really cool feature which I liked is the accessibility for service portal in Microsoft Teams. So ServiceNow has introduced a new tab for the app in Microsoft Teams where user don't have to log in into the browser again and again whenever it is required. User can simply go to Microsoft Teams. It is a one-time authentication and user will be able to use the service portal though there will be certain limitations but more or less it works the same and natural language understanding is one of the hot topic which is really helpful when we talk about user experience and then there is a dashboard created by ServiceNow for us which gives us an overview of the conversations that are happening, which conversations were converted into a ticket, which were not and so on. So to work or uh, to demonstrate the use of these particular features, there are certain plugins required which I have already activated in my PDI. Though all the plugins are not available in the full service now instance. So let's check out what are the features that are available to us? Sorry, plugins. Yeah. So Glide Virtual Agent is one of the plugins which I have already installed. Few of the plugins were installed with the when I installed this one. Majority of my demo will be focused on ITSM conversations. So I have installed our ITSM Virtual Agent Conversations plugins. Mm -hmm. Now to use the Virtual Agent in Microsoft Teams, the way we use it in Service Portal as of today, first of all, we need to connect our ServiceNow user account with the Microsoft Teams account. So for that, we have a module called collaboration and there is another sub module called messaging apps integration so to connect with the microsoft teams account let me click on install 
and it will open up in a new tab and then it will ask me for certain permissions I, I'm clicking on accept so once I click on Accept ServiceNow instance sends an OAuth token to Microsoft Teams, and once that gets validated, now Virtual Agent Integration app is installed in the ServiceNow instance. And if I go back to Manage App section, one Teams account or one Teams app will be installed over here. Previously, this count was zero. If you have observed this, and now the next steps would be to go to Microsoft Teams, click on apps and search for your app. The app name is now Virtual Agent and if you open this, there will be an add button for me. It shows open because I have already installed this app. So this is pretty much it for an overview and in the upcoming videos, we will discuss about the features which I have already discussed in the beginning of this video. Till then, take care, stay safe.